It's the 25th of January, light drizzle, and we're about to take off and take a look at new brakes that I have on the Lancer 360, as well as an infrared camera. This camera is one of those that attaches to a cell phone, but I was really surprised at how well it captures everything going on here with the tire and the brake caliper. So, as you can see, we're going on to a damp runway, and you can actually see the tire is warmer just from the uh, friction of it rolling. We're going to take off here right around 60 knots. And there we go. Now we're going to tap the brakes, retract the gear. And one thing that I was surprised with is how well this infrared camera picked up all of the areas around it. I didn't think it would actually do that well from the air. And you can see here it captures the houses, you can see hot spots that are out there. And one thing that's really interesting is you can also see cars and cars that are cool or have been running. Obviously any infrared camera would do this, however this is being one that just plugs into a cell phone. I didn't expect it to be able to range this far. We're about a thousand feet here and you can see in that parking lot there there's quite a few hot cars that have just parked. And the traffic on the road you can see those cars there as well. Now we're going to set up here for a landing. You can see we're coming in. There's that light rain. Now we're going to take a look at the landing gear. You can see where the air is hitting it in the front. It's cooling that tire down. Now we're going to come in. Now watch on the runway. You'll see the heat. Yeah, could you see that? There's heat and a little tread mark that's left on the runway. There's that landing. And now we're going to start to apply the brakes. You'll see the calipers start to change in color here as those pads press down on it. It generates quite a bit of heat. These new calipers and pads are really great. They um, put out at least twice the stopping power. I can actually lock the brakes up. Could never do that on the old brake system. So I'm doing my condition inspection on my Lance Air 360. This year I want to do a couple of different things to it. One of the things I want to do is put on new brake calipers. The brakes that are on it today, uh, Matco, they really don't have that good of stopping or gripping power. And so there's a guy that's put together some own Lance Air parts for a 360, and I've bought a couple of his parts before, and they're super high quality. He's done a couple of things. One are these gear door mods, and then the other thing he's done are these uh, brake calipers that we're going to put on today. Let's go on out to the airplane and start pulling these brakes off. Set this up on jacks right now, and we're going to go take the gear doors off and also the wheel off it really has to come completely apart in order to get this thing taken care of the landing gear doors inner gear door done got to get this lock powder pin out now we take off these torque bits Three, two, excellent. Right here. You can see the old caliper and brake pads, and you can see these things are really worn. On the new caliper, you can see it's pretty much double everything. So it's got four pads on it instead of just the two pads. It's also got three pistons that help push those four pads down right inside here in the caliper. And the old one just had one piston that pushed on everything. So much broader contact with the rotor. Definitely looks better too. 
and incredibly well engineered. Again, hats off to Chris. Well done. Now let's see how these things bolt up. The other thing that Chris did is put together a whole graph on the heating and cooling effect of these new brakes. A lot better gripping and hold capacity out of these. And all looks good. That's one. Two. Three. We're set. No more bubbles.